what I desire to look upon the kings of old. My kin. Hey guys, this is Eretic, and in this video, I'm going to go over the Colossus with an emphasis on what you should do from the very beginning of the game and what the Colossus is and how it works. So let's get started. All right, so from the very beginning of the game, everyone's going to start off with using the infantry front line. And so that's where you're going to want to focus your Titan Crystals and Ancient Relics to upgrading those skills. So if you look in here for infantry, and you know you have all of them, you have infantry, cav, archers, and mages. So scroll over to the infantry. You can activate it so you actually get the skills for that. And at the very beginning, you can only activate one. You can activate one until you get to Colossus level 70, and you can see that in the top left. Once you get to Colossus level 70, then you can actually activate a second Colossus. So as you go and you upgrade these skills, you'll get stats that are associated with attack, HP, defense, infantry take less damage from cav, infantry take less damage from archers, and infantry take less damage from mages. So of those, you can tell the, the really important ones here, there's, there's three from the very beginning of the game that'll be critical to you. There'll be the HP, the defense, and the, uh, the resistance, basically, reduced damage from mages. You know, just below that would be reduced damage from archers because you'll have more people at the beginning of the game that'll be mages, so you'll face them more often. So I weight that a little bit higher than I would archers, even though I'm an archer. All right, so you get those skills as you raise them up. You also get this Colossus skill. So you get the first one, and this is where it's really interesting. You get the damage increase against, ma uh, against angels at Colossus level 50. And the really good one is um, raises, you know, you get this attack boost at 70 that raises all units attacks by 5.4. So that would be your mages, your archers, your infantry, and your angels. Their attack would go up by 5.4%. That's really, really good. So that is the goal at the beginning is to get to that 70 and so you get these Titan Crystals and these Ancient Relics. You can get them off of the Infinite Wars shop. Um, you can get them off of events. You can get them in the Hot Shop. You can get them in all kinds of places. You can get a lot of them in events, actually. The, we're doing the Mallet event right now. One of the focuses is actually on the Titan Crystals. And I do get those so that I can raise this level. I did do that so that I could get to 70, so that I could get my my back line as well so at the very beginning you're going to want to focus on your infantry like i said so you'll want to focus on first your your hp and you'll want to get that to 10. you'll want to get your defense to 10 as well and you'll want to get your uh, reduced damage from mages to 10. So that's great. So now you have uh, Colossus level 30. So now you have to find a way to get all the way up to 70. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and fill in here tens on all of them. And as you're going, you can reset this a million times. It's not going to cost you more. So, you know, as you go, you'll definitely want to reset along the way because you may want to say, you know, I'm just going to put everything into defense, infantry, and reduce mage damage until I get enough to where I think I can actually reach that 50 or that 70 to get those uh, bonus skills. So now I'm at, at 60. So now I want to put a little bit more here. I would put, you know, a little bit more here, 
a little bit more here. You want to spread it out? Nope, nope. Um, because the higher you go up in levels, the more resources that are actually used. So you don't, you definitely don't want to blow it all because you want to get, you know, right to 70. So I'm just going to keep going down this list. 67, you know, I might uh, raise, you know, another one of these, make it a little bit cheaper here. Okay, and now I'm at 70. So I have 13 um, defense, 13 um, HP, and 12 on my mage attack. And that'll give me, you know, 7% um, HP and defense and 4.8% 4, 4 less damage from mages. And you can see my cavern and the archer, you know, reduced damage is, is over 4% as well. So that's great. And so now at this point, I have both the damage increase versus angels and the attack boost. So you'll see that in your, your stats, your overall stats. So that's great. This is where I want to be. So now the other great thing is, so you have the, the bonus skill at 50, the bonus skill at 70, also at 70, you can now open up a second um, Colossus. So you, if you're Archer, you can activate your Archer and go up there. If you're mage, you can um, upgrade your mage. And they're very similar as far as what they actually do. The Colossus skills will be exactly the same here for the two. So at least for the first two. Um, so what you want to do is, so let's say I'm mage. The, the, the majority of people are mage. So I would go through and, you know, I do have some more um, crystals I can use. So here it goes, you know, it's the same thing. Attack, HP, defense, um, damage versus infantry, which would be, you know, one of your priorities. Damage versus cav, not a priority at the beginning because no one is cav. And um, damage versus archers, which, you know, is just a little bit below what you would put, again, um, for... Now, actually, it's a lot below <laughs> what you would put for infantry. So for the, there's only three really good ones here. And it would be, um, there's only two really good ones here. It would be your attack and your um, damage versus your infantry. So those are the two that you would want to focus on at the beginning. So if you could only pick two, those would be the two that you would go for. So I'm going to raise both of those up to five. And now I am going to go up one each. And I'm doing this so that I don't waste them because I want to grow both of these up. So these are the only two I really care about. If I was high enough where I thought I could get 70 here, then I would do the same thing. I would just rank up each of these to 10 and then, um, you know, with my priorities being um, the attack and the damage versus infantry, I would rate, make sure that those are a little bit ahead of the other ones as I, as I roll towards my, my 70. But I'm not going to get to 70 here. So you could just keep going up. Because really, these four don't really mean anything to me right now. So, you know, I mean, you could, it's not here. I guess this would be the smart one to do, you know, at some point. All right. So I get to 29 on my backline. So I'm not getting any of these bonus skills yet, but I could still raise up my attack, which is great. So same thing if I was Archer, which I am, that would be the one that I would focus on. Um, so you know, you have your infantry at 70. If you can take it higher, these uh, Colossus skills, once you get to 90, 110, especially 130, look at this 130. So you get the troop damage. So if there's anything better than attack, it's actually the damage that you can do. So this would be the very top thing that you could possibly get would be this troop damage of 8.8%. It's at 130. I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to play a long time before you have enough Titan Crystal and Ancient Relics to actually get that high. So your focus at the very beginning would be your infantry, 
And then once you get that to 70, which will take a little while, um, then you would want to activate either mage or archer, depending on which one you are. And then all of these skills that you get will be reflected when you go back over to, you know, into your Lord info and you go to check details, you would see it there in your stats. Um, the same thing um, as we were saying, that bonus skill for that troop attack would be the very same thing. So this Colossus skill um, attack boost, that would actually show in your, in your stats as well because it's an attack boost. All right, so I hope this helps. You know, just getting started with the Colossus, it, it can mean a lot, especially these uh, Colossus skills as you go. Um, it is an important part of your statistics as your for your tech as you rank up. So you don't want to forget about it. You want to keep rolling it up. And as I grow, I will kind of focus... Um, you know, so you're, everyone starts off as infantry. Once you get into the 30s, people will start to shift over to cav. And that, that's what I've done, actually. I'm cav. So my setup is a little bit different. So I can show you kind of how I would set up. So let's go ahead and, and re reset everything here. All right, so... All right, I should have everything. So now we'll do the same thing. So I would want to go um, 10 and 10. You know, 10's all the way across. That's easy, because I know I can get all the way to 270 here. Okay. Moving along. All right. So now I would want to put a couple into each one of the, you know, the uh, HP and into the defense. And I want to reduce the amount of damage that mages can do. So I'll put a couple into that. So now I'm at 66. I'll probably put another into HP and another into here. And then maybe just raise a couple of these. All right. I don't care about them. Um, from archers, I'll go ahead and get that. So now I'm at 70. I want to make sure I activate so that I get these skills. And now I have the Colossus skill for attack boost and for damage against angels. So that's the stats I can get from my calf. And now I would switch over to my archer which is already activated as well. Um, so here I would want to focus my attack as we saw earlier. So I'm gonna go all the way to 10 there. And I want to do my damage against infantry. Okay, got those two to 10. And then um, I would raise up my um, damage against Cav because I know a few people will start going Cav now. And so here we go. So I'm up at 26. You know, I could go a little bit higher. It's not. I'm not going to get to 50 to get the damage taken versus Angels or the HP boost. I won't be able to get to those yet. But that's something I'm working on. And that's where I am right now. So that's, that's how I'm set up right now. So I hope this helps. Um, you know, eventually I would want to refocus my calf 
you know, when I can get up to, you know, around 130, you know, maybe in a year from now, I'm not sure how long it'll actually take to get enough Titan crystals and everything, but you know, in the future, I would go, the goal would be to get to that 130 and, and also still have enough to put into my archer attack to get that as high as I possibly can. But I hope this helps. I hope, uh, you know, this introduction to the Colossus um, is helpful to you. And if you do, um, you know, have any questions, you can reach out to me on Discord at heretic number 9318. You can reach out to me online. Um, my username is heretic there, but it's H A E R. E T I C. I'm on line. I'm I'm mostly on Discord. If you really want to get in touch with me, that's the best place. And um, I hope this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Got everything I wanted, and it's jumping like for real now. Out the mud, just enough.